right, so we're going to break into this thing. Verify this is indeed the Celador D60. This is the vivid uh, variation of this. There are several variations. I don't know them all, so I won't tell you about them. So, as with everything uh, ETC, you always get very, very good packaging. We have a round diffuser in the frame. Um, I actually ordered custom diffusers, so um, I'll actually pull this out uh, for now so that we can get the right one on there. Um, there's the manual, the quick guide, is what they call it. It's very informative. There is the Edison. I'll come closer to you guys. So just the standard to power con. So this end is what plugs into the fixture, and uh, we'll demonstrate that for you. <clears throat> they kind of lock it into this uh, this cardboard base here, so you can't, so it doesn't accidentally pop out during shipping. And if I were to guess, I would say that the weight of this fixture, without checking the actual specs, I would say it's probably around 12 pounds. But it's kind of, you know, hard, hard to say. I'm checking the manual right now to see if I can get you an actual number. But um, you can also look it up. So I'm going to leave the box here and we'll get into this thing. As always, ETC always wraps their fixtures in plastic, which is nice back in the box. So here is the front of it and uh, you can tell you know with my hand this thing is a beast. Uh, it's all steel construction um, and you can feel that in the weight. And then uh, on the back here you got um, 5 pin DMX in, 5 pin DMX out, power con in. Let me grab that power cord and I'll show you uh, if you've never worked with PowerCon, it's a wonderful connector for power because it locks. So let me actually uh, get this yoke up and we'll get closer here. So you can tell that there's these little uh, indentations here to how this goes in and then it twists and locks. That's not coming out. To get it out, you pull this lever, twist it back and it goes out. And the cool thing also about PowerCon is that you can loop out. So this is a power through, so you can plug into your Edison right there on your wall outlet here, and then you can daisy chain, I believe it's uh, four or five total fixtures, uh, including this one. So this is a ridiculously powerful LED, and uh, just keep watching our channel and we'll, uh, we'll show you just how ridiculously powerful they are. In gaming terms, I believe the term is OP there. <laughs> Some people would consider them overpowered. So, okay, there we go. I had these extra diffuser lenses and I didn't know where they came from, now I do. So this is the medium round diffuser. So if you want to think about it as a par light, this would be like a medium flood. So one item to note is that this little sticker needs to be facing the, uh, the fixture. So let's see, in front of the lens, Tim. Not sure if you guys can read that, but it says medium round for use with ETC desire fixtures only. Install this side towards fixture. So we're going to do that just like that. And uh, actually, I'm going to pick up the camera here because there is an important item to note here. And that is, you have these two slots. So you can stack these, uh, these frames. So you see there's the internal slot right there. Okay? But for me, I don't have anything to stack. So I'm going to move that. And then the trick with these retention clips is that it goes. You can see that it... That it has this little play here and that's what locks it in. So that can't come out of there. To get it out, pull and flip. And then we can get it out. Alright. So guys, 
that is the ETC D60. I still have to get that clamp on there, but um, yeah, we'll show you an operation in a bit. <laughs> 